Hey everyone, welcome back to Daughter. I keep saying Daughters of Ash, Dark Souls of Ash and Dust, where we are going to be moving into the depths in today's episode. Now, listen, I actually have my sound working, and I can't believe I was stupid enough to miss this uh, because I can clearly see my mixer. And I can clearly see the little sound waves or like the little, you know, volume meter bouncing. So I really should notice when, notice when I don't have the recording set up. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to be moving into the depths today. Still, I think overall, considering the circumstances, I thought you would die from one hit. Considering the circumstances, I think the previous episode turned out pretty okay. And why am I not using ranged against these enemies? Because it's slow as fuck. Let's go for the, you know, low risk option. Of course. I am lower on resources because I did not go back to any bonfire. Main reason me is being that I'm lazy. But still, unless they fuck with me and move the bonfire, uh, <laughs> this this should go okay. If they move the bonfire, we could be in trouble. Ouch, Dark Souls 2. Because I do know for a fact... Where the fuck did you come from? I do know for a fact that there are bonfires that are moved in this game. Uh, it's like highlighted in the... The patch notes or whatever. The introduction screen. As a point of pride, you know, thousand souls. Do these things give a thousand souls, really? Okay, I don't think we have a very large, not very large, a large ember here, which is kind of a shame. Not that I have um, large shards. One thing we will definitely be able to do is rescue. I wonder. Oh hell yeah. Takes no damage, but the concept itself worked. Nice. Get the sack. It's all in the sack. You, you, why are you dressed exactly the same way as I am? Because we're from the same place. And as you know, people from one place all dress exactly the same. Like, listen, every Hungarian dresses the same. It's a well-known fact. Finally, I got this guy. Is that it? Interesting. Sewer chamber key, okay. I'm happy that I got him. I'm definitely gonna visit Firelink because now we can kick this playthrough into overdrive now that we have uh, Laurentius. Okay, looks like slime monsters are still in. Oh, that would have been sick. How the fuck did all of that miss? That was a really strange interaction. Um, they're all clustered together a bit more, right? Okay, I want to get Mr. Torch Hollow out here. I was going to say that this is what the key is, right? Uh, 
think the smart thing to do here would be to homeward bone because this is the first bonfire since I didn't check my timer like an idiot yeah this is the first bonfire which means yes nice 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 that's called being smart All right, Mr. Laurentius, we have we have some things we need to discuss. What a bra? I have it too. Let's whip it out for you. You're sitting in the perfect position. To look at my whipped out pyromancy flame. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, there'll be some use, some assistance. Right, let's get started, right? The Cockney Pyromancer. Cool. We are going to get uh I think fire orb for sure, combustion for sure. The rest of these are kinda we'll we'll get the other copy. And what we're also gonna do is We are going to use these. I'm gonna use up all my... I won't use the Scorched Night Souls because again, I'm fairly sure that's gonna be needed for something. But this should give us a nice little buffer. Okay. Almost got it. Listen, I'm gonna be using my Pyromancies a lot more once. Excuse me, once this is like upgraded, it's gonna be hella more powerful. Cool. Does this guy say anything? I never listened to this guy's dialogue. How very cheery of you, Cheerio. Uh, fire Orb, and I think we're gonna get Combustion. What did that say? <gasps> it needs stats. Fuck. Pyromancy needs stats. Uh oh. Well. That is a twist, to say the least. That is a twist that I didn't know. Which means my issues with uh, leveling and me not knowing what level are gonna be solved pretty quickly because we have hella information now on what we're gonna need to level up. I was thinking that they were gonna pull this shit like, seriously, I talked about it in the previous episode, which, of course, the recording of was lost. Lost in the ether. But I did mention, you know, I wonder if Pyromancy requires any, like, stat investment. Turns out, it do. Like in Dark Souls 3. It requires Int and Faith, which I, I don't mind. I don't mind. See, if you ever needed more proof that I didn't cheat and I'm going into this blind. That's what makes this fun. Um, I really am going to go and look at my equipment a little bit. I mean, that doesn't work, but... Nah, it's too formal. We like to be a little bit rustic, right? A little bit too rustic? Okay, never mind. And that looks... Uh, we look like the Witcher. But I think that's something we can work with. 
uh, this set right here. I mean, listen, black thief set or whatever this is called, black leather thief set, black thief set. Uh, that could be misconstrued now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it basically looks good. It works with anything. All right. Back down we go. Only thing I don't like about this armor is the, the leggings. Like the boots are like weirdly thick. Gucci leather boots, you know. What do the Brits call it? Wellies. Wellingtons. Okay, I'm about to die to this guy. So he keeps flipping away. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's anticipation. It's strange to me that, not in just going back to all the spells, it's a little bit strange, isn't it, that Fire Orb requires less stat investment than fucking uh, Combustion. Like, Combustion, I think, is a way weaker fucking lock-on. Combustion, I think, is a way weaker spell. But that's a bit strange. But finally, I can use my Pyromancies actively can I lock on to you luckily there was ever an enemy that's weak to fire it's these guys who look like the brain thing is from Bloodborne so yeah, we got our little witcher set God, this guy this guy looks so sad that's the thing like he he always looks like he's constantly sad for some reason maybe the pyro life is just hard like that you know there's no benefits terrible work hours why wouldn't you look depressed right should I kindle this thing I will why not We'll have a look around the catacombs here. So, having ten Estus will be helpful. Just realizing how fucking basic this build is. I'm using the black leather set. Oh shit, what the hell? Don, what the fuck is that? We have new enemies. Okay, that's super cool. That is super cool. Knew it. I didn't think that was gonna be a thing. We'd have new enemies. This is like a sort of hollow. Like weird disgusting arms growing out of it. Nice. Wanderer set. A large... They drop large shards. Megusta. I like it. Dropping large shards is the shit, if anyone hasn't said that before. It's gangster. I don't think so. Did I one-shot him? I did. What did I say about upgrading my glove? Man, I'm glad these guys are not buffed right about now. Please hit. It did, just barely. God, this is good now. Like, 
I can see this build taking shape. Because... Vampire menaces are good. Isn't there supposed to be large shards here somewhere? Yeah. So all I need to find is the ember and then we can partisan this thing up even further. I don't know why I said partisan this thing up as if it it's like a known word that didn't make any sense. You know I have the time of just chatting shit throughout these videos. Butcher knife. I like the butcher knife. I always say that and then I never end up using it either. Although, you know, you can like a weapon without having to use it. Man, I never can't. No, fuck. Doesn't matter. Just stay cool. It's pretty much guaranteed that I was gonna fall down here. I mean, Mildred. Oh no, it's just like, like a sort of Mildred. Some like crazy ass. Damn, <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, this is, and she and we picked up her shit. Listen, if that's your kink, it's all good. Just. Oh god, I have like no curse resist. Is there one more? Yes, there is. Listen, again, if that's your kink, it's all good. Just don't force me to do it either. Not a mimic. Oh, nice. Fuck off. This normally contains Ring of the Evil Eye, um, which is absolutely worthless. The Large Ember is much, much better. And now, I am very happy that we fell down here, actually. But again, as I was gonna say, Actually, that might be the Ring of the Evil Eye, right? Oh, there's two... Mm, there's more than one of these guys. Sorry. And again, the poop. Damn, you're a weirdo. Discount Gerard. What what did I call him? I called him Valkorian, right? From the Oh fuck it. <laughs> Oh man, me and jumping in this game are not friends. Um I called him Valkorian because I I don't know. So when I started recording I watched like before it I was watching the Old Republic trailers on YouTube. I think I mentioned this, right? Fucking finally. Just a humanity. Interesting. Listen, I can I can survive without Ring of the Evil Eye in this game. Nobody has ever said, damn I wish I had the Ring of the Evil Eye right about now. Another one of these. I am in human form so I wonder if the invasions are left intact. I'm assuming yes. Don't see why they wouldn't be. We're not gonna have like actual invaders. Let's have NPCs. Yep, Mr. Kirk. Or is it Miss Kirk? I don't remember. It's a female character model, right? Or is that in the other games? 
Yeah, this guy fat rolls too. And apparently they're like really not good at avoiding my spells. Listen, come up against a top tier warrior like me. You're gonna have a bad time. Give me the Hume and nice barbed straight sword. That's also a good weapon. At least I don't mind it. You know how bleed is in this game. Man, it is convenient being able to easily take out these slime monsters. Man, I'm liking the new enemies they added so far. I mean, we had like two. But both of these enemies seem to like fit the theme. Okay, the giant rat area is also somewhere we need to go. We need to cover the giant rat area. Although, do we? I guess we do. I'm gonna go with this. 10 10. I like combustion, so we're gonna rock it for a little bit. I think this is the easiest way to get back there. And I'm assuming what might be like a thing is that maybe pyromancies just have like lesser stat requirements. I'm just like speculating here, considering that you also need to upgrade the glove. Combustion is good. It's good because it's fast. If you do a little bit of predictions. You can give enemies a bad time. Oh, come on. Damn. What a trickster. So far, I gotta, and again, I've said this before, but so far, this is so, so much better than Daughters of Ash. This is excellent. Like, all the changes I've seen so far have been, like, perfect. And this is kind of what I was expecting Daughters of Ash to be. I can't believe that happened. So, GG's mod makers. Because, you know, we talked about this. I was never... Oh. I see you, game. I see you. Because, you know, we talked about this. I wasn't shy about the fact that I did not exactly care for... Daughters of Ash. This is a million times better. And it really does capture what the description says to have like a Scholar of the First Sin type deal for Dark Souls 1. What I'm gonna do here is I think for Gaping Dragon I'm not gonna have combustion. It would be stupid to have that. Let's have some ranged spells instead. That's the that's the ideal thing. Uh, two copies of fireballs. Let's get going. So far, every single boss has had a twist. So now I'm looking forward to what 
they come up with for Gaping Dragon. I don't know what you could conceivably come up with for the Gaping Dragon. Because Gaping Dragon just kind of happens, you know. Technically, we could very easily skip this entire place because, you know, we have the Blight Town key. Well, let's not. Fuck. Okay, that's sca that scared me. I was like, "What the hell is that?" Man, you gotta expect every twist. Well, not gotta expect, but you need to be prepped. Your booty needs to be prepped. You know, there is definitely gonna be some twist. Oh, what up, man? What the hell? There's something, something's shadow. This Shimway. Soul of a great. He sells the soul of a great hero for twenty thousand. Nice. I appreciate you, Domal. And of course, oh shit, got tangled in my headphones. I like it. A true trader knows how to rip people off. What the hell? Assemble ferryman skeleton. What? Ke? All right, hold on, just a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not be too hasty here. Okay, let's have a look around. What the hell is this? Let me just see you for a second. Oh shit, it's a skelly. Offer deformed bronze coin. People have said to do this. The ferryman accepted your offer. Travel to undead parish. <gasps> oh. The question is, can I come back? I'm really hoping that stays, because I would actually like to go back to Undead Parish. Actually, no, I wouldn't. But I would do it to try. No, I should do it. The weapon, my weapon. I'm an idiot. The only question is, will I be able to come back here? Huh, that's really cool. I like it. Bruh, seriously? This is where you put me? Okay. Bit of a dick move, if you ask me. Luckily, I'm stronger now. Not by much. So I think I can... No, I'm so stupid. I thought I was an Estus. Well, we might as well maximize this. Maybe this isn't as tragic as I thought it would be. I, I didn't know the Night Shield was here. Of course, Demon Tide Knight. That sucked. If only for the fact that... Um... Well, you know. It is. Of course. So we're gonna modify... Partisan plus six. And we can get, if everything goes correctly, a partisan plus seven too. No partisan plus eight. Now see, the thing is, this is my question. If I rest here, like, do these stay open forever? 
I'm really hoping because if resetting uh, disables the journey back, I am going to be pissed. Because then I have to walk all the way back there. Which is gonna be muy annoyingo. As I said when I passed my Spanish exam. Please work, please work, please work. Interesting. Okay, so the other um, places must link together like this as well. Really, really cool. Oh, the skelly is gone. <laughs> cool. It makes sense. I like it because there is a fast travel mechanic without having to get the Lord Vessel. I'm assuming then that the standard Lord Vessel does not. The Gaping Dragon awaits a powerful meal. Okay. There is no Gaping Dragon. Am I not the meal? Huh. Alright, this is a quest line. I'll take my dragon skill. I'll take my dragon skill for now. Hopefully it's not something like you gotta lure the fucking rat here or something. That can't be a thing. Like That's not actually possible. And I don't think an undead skeleton, not skeleton, but an undead is gonna be enough. Alright then, let's move to Blight Town. Since there is no master key in this game, we have to go the upper way. Toxins in the air, sepid. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. This place is too stinky. Like the f all the fucking poop and piss. It's so stinky that it's draining your health. That is mad annoying. Listen, I can imagine. I usually want my dog uh, in a... There's a forest near our place. But the forest connects to like this other part of the town. And one of the sewer lines runs through the forest. And that shit sometimes smells so bad. If one of the like sewer covers, like the manhole cover is cracked open. Man, that shit is not pleasant. So, I can definitely imagine that my health would be drained in such a situation. And you still have the toxic assholes. You still have fucking Twitch chat shooting at you. Oh, you could have dropped a blooming. A blooming onion. Fuck off. That guy really is stuck. I wonder, like, how far this is gonna extend this mechanic. <laughs> nice. We keep indulging our fetish too of holding dried shit. Because like this is the, like the sewer part. So we'll see, we'll see. I wonder if it goes, affects the lower part of Blight Town as well. Still nice of them to give us three moss clumps. Much appreciated, boys. Okay, I'm gonna hit up the bonfire. Um, so this health drain seems to be like poison rate. Which is okay. I don't mind that too much. What is up with these guys? They're like not... Not really attacking. 
Hopefully it's not like something they're actually friendly. And I'm being just like a gigantic asshole by murdering them. Hey hey, soul of a hero. Damn, this early. They really don't attack. Hmm. Alright. Live and let live. Hey. Um. I'm not trying to be rude. But isn't there supposed to be a bonfire there? Correct me if I'm wrong. Fuck no. I'm like 100% gonna die if I go across there. It's really interesting that they don't attack. This must be some event. Hmm, hmm, hmm. These assholes are... Or... The other possibility is that this area is glitching out. It has happened to people. I think that's... I think this place is glitching out. Um... I don't think this is supposed to happen. Fuck, I really hate that there is no bonfire here. Especially since I wanted to conclude the episode. Okay, these guys attack. I'm still I'm still undecided though because like enemies are making All right, don't question it. Yeah, again, like people have said that this mod does have a few glitches that can happen. So hopefully I'm not experiencing one right about now. Great sight. All right. I legit don't know because there is no bonfire here. I'm gonna warp back. I'm gonna warp back and we can come in here. We'll see if the enemies are really just glitched and maybe resetting will help. Because I think... Oh fuck. Well, okay. That was unintended. But whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of of Ash and Dust. God, that really doesn't work. What we're gonna do is I'll go back to Blight Town in the next episode. We'll see if that was just a glitch and enemies do attack. I think they're supposed to, maybe. Or whether that's part of some quest. We'll find the bonfire. We'll have a full uh, episode dedicated to that place. Until then, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Stay connected by hitting the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading, know when I'm streaming. Follow me on my Discord, Instagram. Uh, Instagram? Did I just say that? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Take care, peace out, and thanks for watching.